Hello everyone, welcome to Gatorade Space Academy. Before starting this video, I would like to take one minute to explain about us. Gatorade Space Academy offers coaching for Gatorade Space exam. And the programs that we offer are Gatorade Space Classroom Program, Gatorade Space Online Program, Gatorade Space Test Series Program, and Gatorade Space Postal Program. We are the India's best institute for Gatorade Space exam. We have been producing top ranks through our classroom program students consistently. And we offer coaching only for Gatorade Space exam. We don't deal with any other branches. That makes us unique in this field. So let us start the video. We know that GATE 2024 is organized by IASC this year. And these are some of the important dates that you have to remember. Okay. So online application started from 30 August 2023. And closing of the registration, last date for the registration is 29 September 2023 without late fee. Okay. And if you have done any mistakes while filling the registration form, you can modify the application from 7th November to 11th November. Okay. And admit, admit cards will be available for download on website from 3rd January 2024. Now, gate examinations will be held on 3rd. 4th, 10th, 11th of the February 2024. And candidates response will be available on the website on 16th February. And results will be declared on 16th March 2024. And you can download your scorecards from the website from 23rd of the March. Now, so what are the two paper combinations for gate aerospace? See, apart from gate aerospace, you all know that you can even give the second paper. So for gate aerospace, we have two paper combinations. So we have the combinations like you can opt for civil engineering or you can opt for mechanical engineering or you can opt for engineering sciences. So along with gate aerospace paper, if you are interested to attempt the second paper, then out of these three papers, you can choose one paper along with gate aerospace paper. Okay. So. Now, what is application fees? See for SC, ST and PWD and female candidates. Okay. So if you apply before 29th of the September, that is a regular period from 30 August to 29th of the September per paper, it is 900. So if you want to appear for two papers, you have to pay 900 for one paper and 900 for the second paper. Okay. And all other candidates, including foreign nationals all other candidates means general candidates obc candidates and foreign nationals and all other categories for one paper it is 1800 so if you want to appear two papers other than gate aerospace like engineering sciences or mechanical engineering or civil engineering you have to pay 1800 for aerospace and 1800 for other second paper okay and if you apply this in the regular period this is the fees that is 900 and 1800 so if you miss this deadline that is 29th september 2023 you can apply from 30 september to 13th october okay during this extended period for sc st and pw candidates it is 1400 and for other candidates including foreign nationals it is 2300 per paper okay so for two papers it is 2300 and 2300 now let's look at the question paper pattern. There is no change in the question paper pattern compared to the last year. But for the new students, let me explain. See examination mode is computer based test and duration of the examination is three hours. And in this we have two sections that is general aptitude and core section. In this we get questions. Okay. So what kind of questions we can expect in gate exam? Multiple choice questions, multiple select questions, MSQ. Numerical answer type questions in AT where you have to enter the answer. Okay. And uh, gate questions will test the candidates ability like recall, comprehension, application, analysis and synthesis. Okay. Now let's see the distribution of marks for aerospace engineering. Okay. See we have general aptitude. We get 15 marks from general aptitude. And from engineering mathematics, we get 13 marks. So out of 65 questions, 
and total we have 100 marks okay out of 100 marks we get 15 marks from the general aptitude and 13 marks from the engineering mathematics and remaining 72 from the core section okay and uh, distribution of marks for xc so mostly like aerospace engineering students will opt for giving xc paper okay so again here out of 100 marks general aptitude 15 marks and engineering mathematics 15 marks and subject questions they will be asking for 70 marks basically for xc paper there are three subjects like mostly for aeronautical uh, xc they will choose solid mechanics okay and thermodynamics or fm okay so you have to choose any two subjects other than engineering aptitude and mathematics so for each subject there will be 35 and 35 so total is 70 marks okay 50 marks from general aptitude 15 marks from mathematics and 35 35 from two subjects that is overall 70 so total it is 100 marks now what is the marking scheme so question carry out of the 65 questions we get two marks question and one mark questions okay and is there any negative marking yes we do have the negative marking for only mcq mcq questions okay multiple choice questions for one mark question you will be having one third mark negative and for two mark question you will be having two third negative marks okay and uh, for msq and nat multiple select questions and numerical answer type questions we don't have any negative marking okay so let's look at the subjects for gate aerospace okay as we discussed that out of 100 marks okay so from general aptitude we get 15 and mathematics we get 13 marks and from subjects like aerodynamics propulsion structures flight mechanics and space mechanics you get 72 marks okay and most important point here is this 72 marks and this 13 marks so that is 72 and 13 total 85 marks okay so if you download the syllabus copy okay of gate aerospace in engineering mathematics and all these five subjects you can see two sections one is core section core section and second one is special topics okay core topics or core section core topics and special topics okay so questions so 90 percent of the questions will come from core sections or core topics and 10 percent okay and 10 percent just 10 percent of the questions will come from special topics so from engineering mathematics and all these subjects you will be having core topics and special topics out of this 85 marks 90 percent of questions will come from the core topics and 10 percent of the questions will come from the special topics okay now see these are some of the changes that they uh, that happened this year okay so anyway for mtech it is same that the state fund is 12,400 per month for 22 months okay but there is a change in the direct phd program okay or phds they are giving 37,000 per month stay fund for first two years and 42,000 per month for the next three years that is third fourth and fifth year okay and this is the most important point that you have to remember before filling the application form for modifications there are additional charges for date of birth change there is 500 for name change they are charging for each and every change that you make in the application form they are charging additionally so make sure that you download the information brochure read all the information okay and make sure that you collect all the documents that are necessary for the application and uh, make arrange them in the prescribed format and prescribed size then only start the application process if you do any mistakes then you have to pay these additional charges and you have to wait till 7th of the november to do the modifications and don't get into any of these headaches okay try to get all the documents and uh, arrange in the prescribed format or prescribed uh, size then only start the application
okay and when you in, when you fill the form cross check it two to three times okay before before submitting the form okay now let's go for the next slide so these are the data required for filling the online form so what is the first data that is required personal information like your name date of birth personal number parents number parents name and all okay and second one is the name of the candidate in the application must be same as your id okay so if you do any if you do any mistake in this application process then the scorecard and the further process all the documents will be having that wrong entered names okay so make sure that see you enter the correct name okay and don't do any mistakes while filling the forms and what is the next important point see don't include any prefixes or titles such as mr mrs professor captain major lieutenant colonel and all these things these are not you not necessary okay and next important point is address for communication they are even asking the pin code of it okay and eligibility degree details and documents of this and gate papers and their codes in which the candidates wish to appear so we know that for gate aerospace we have civil engineering mechanical engineering and xc okay and uh, three choice of gate examination centers you have to fill and net banking and all the payment details also are very important now let's go for the next slide required documents for filling the online application form say i request all of you to please download the information brochure read it at least 2 3 times understand the guidelines then only start filling the application form okay so first collect all the documents and convert them into the prescribed uh, format or prescribed size then start filling the application form okay here you have to use high quality image high quality image for candidate's photograph and candidate signature okay and if you belongs to sc and st category then you have to scan this certificate in the pdf format okay and if you belong to pwd candidate then this certificate should be in pdf format okay and scanned copy of valid photo identity okay preferably you can use uh, aadhar card because they are asking id must have name date of birth and candidate's photo okay you can use aadhar card or pan card okay so because and this card must be carried original to the examination hall remember that whatever the card that you are using for your registration purpose the same card you have to take and submit or show in the examination hall that is that you, you must carry original card okay not the xerox one and let's go for the next slide see we are starting the last batch for gate aerospace 2024 from 7 september online program and if anybody is interested to join the offline classes then they can come to the hyderabad we have started the classroom program on 2nd september okay so when i started this video i were uh, i was explaining that we are the india's best institute for gate aerospace coaching so we are consistently producing ranks you can see the ranks all top ranks okay from our classroom program students so if the students didn't start their preparation and uh, this is the right uh time to start it's never too late you can still start the preparation and get the good rank in your gate exam okay so uh, share this information with your friends and juniors those who want to prepare for gate aerospace exam okay now i will show you the official website of gate okay so if you type gate2024.iasc.ac.in the official website will open like this you can see okay so here you can click on gate papers you can download the test papers and syllabus question paper pattern two paper combination examination schedule this all i have explained in the slides if you want you can check it again so if you click on 2024 two paper combinations you can see here you can see here for a aeronautical we have civil engineering mechanical engineering and xc okay uh, similarly if you see the opportunities this is the important one for every as uh aspirant see you can use gate score to study in the prestigious institutes like iits and nits okay and uh, you can pursue your masters you can pursue your phd's from the this uh, prestigious institutions and financial assistance also i explained 
that stay fund is 12400 per month and recently they have increased for the phd candidates that is 37000 per month to 42000 per month for last 3 years and for 2 years it is 37000 okay and this is the important point that you have to uh, consider so you have you can use the gate score for the psu uh, psus okay like public under uh, public sector undertakings use gate score in their recruitment process like for aeronautical uh, drdo if, if you want to become a scientist in drdo or ada you, uh, they 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 recruit through gate score so 70% of the weightage is given for gate score and 30% weightage is given for interview okay so these are the some of the psus for other branches like ece mechanical and all okay but for aeronautical we have ada and uh, we have drdo okay but hcl they don't recruit through gate exam they have their own separate exam okay so and there is one uh, section download this year they have they have added this new feature uh, if you click on this last year it was like you have to select each and every year and you can download the question paper but this year they have given the bulk download of the question paper like if you click on this you can see that from 2007 to 2023 you can download the question papers in bulk okay so these are for all papers you can see and you can download for aeronautical also okay so if you click on application you can see eligibility criteria required documents application fees see uh, application fees i was talking about this never do any mistakes okay if you do any mistakes then you need to wait till november 7th and because of this you cannot prepare seriously or you cannot focus on your preparation okay so before uh, before applying make sure that you download the information brochure read it multiple times then only start then gather the required documents and convert it into the prescribed format and prescribed size then only start the application form here you can see if there is one mistake in the name they are charging 500 per paper so likewise for each and every change they are having the additional amount you can see here so don't uh, make this mistake while you fill the application form it's not only about the money it's about the tension so you cannot focus completely on your preparation always you will be having that thing in mind that uh, you did some mistake in the uh, application process okay so if you have any faqs you can just click on faqs and you can see if you have any faqs related to application process or admit card or gate examination or additional information or gate score card you can just see this okay and you if you have any doubts and if you want to contact them then you can click on contact you can see the mobile numbers as well as the email ids you can write to them or even you can call them our working hours time is also given okay so make sure that you visit the official website once and go through all this okay so this is all about the video notification video thank you so much and uh, all the best for your exam